for 24 hours in 13 weeks. You can do the math. You can almost get there <laughs> with two hours a week, right? Two hours a day, three hours a day, four hours a day. Do it four hours a day and in six days you're done. <laughs> but I really want everyone in this room and I want you to begin to hashtag 24 hours. Two hours a week or three hours a week for 13 weeks. That's not hard, you guys, and that's what I'm asking you to give tonight. I guarantee you I'll do more than that. I will work as hard as I know how. Um, you know, I, I, I roll up my sleeves and I get after it. But, uh, when it's this hot out, I sweat. Um, I've not seen Josh Hawley break a sweat yet. <laughs> That's our job between now and November. Let's see if we can make him sweat. I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Do you all think that you're persuading people when you shout out like that? Beg your pardon? You don't trust me? Okay. I, I, you know, I, I don't know what else I can do. I don't know what else I can do. If you, if you want me to go home, okay. So here's the thing. You got three marching orders from here. What are they? No. Health care. Dark money. Workers' rights. If you guys can get that word out in Jefferson County, then we will have great success, and all of our candidates will have great success right. in Jefferson County. And if you haven't knocked a shift yet, I beg of you, sign up for 140 and leave here. How many of you have knocked on doors? All right, all right, okay. So to the rest of you, this election could be decided by the number of people in this room. I'm not kidding you. It is going to be hangnail close. So we've got some work to do that we need a lot of volunteers. And I know it's out of your comfort zone to knock on a stranger's door, but I want you to look at it a different way. You can sit on your couch and cuss the TV, <laughs> or you can decide to put one foot in front of the other and do something you've never done before and fully participate in trying to influence this election. And there's nothing more powerful than a people-to-people -people contact at somebody's front door. And, and just saying a few words to them. Well, no, that's not true about Claire. Read this. You'll get the facts. Go on factcheck.org. Get the facts. And we've got a lot of people out there that will vote for us if we can get them out to vote. But they usually don't vote in non-presidential elections. So that's why we need to knock on these doors. I like to compare knocking on doors to going to the dentist. Right? You don't look forward to it. You're a little uneasy about it because you never know, you know what's going to happen. You know, they may come up with saying, oh, you've got to have a root canal or an implant or a filling. But then you get there and you go, well, this isn't so bad. Everybody's pretty nice and, you know, I'm not in any pain or anything. And then when you walk to the car afterwards, you go, boy, I feel good. My teeth are clean. I've taken care of myself. You have a spring in your step. I got my dentist appointment done. That's how you feel about knocking doors. When you're finished, you're going to feel good. You're going to feel good. Now raise your hand if you will consider signing up a shift to knock on doors, even if you haven't. Okay, good. I talked some people into it. That's terrific. I love it. I love it back here in the back. There's this nice woman and she took, her, is that your husband? She took her husband's hand and raised it for him. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm a resident of uh, Ferguson and I went by uh, the campaign office and uh, I was a bit disappointed and it raised the question of how much is the DNC behind your uh, campaign? Uh, well, the DNC is not going to be funding my campaign. Um, and the, the difference between a campaign office that is vibrant and full and one that isn't is volunteers. So, um, and I will tell you, we have struggled with volunteers. 
Asperger's mom. More so, we've got 41 offices open across the state. We have 55 field staff that is on the ground in those 41 offices across the state, including one in every community that has a college campus. Um, we have one on Del Mar in the city, we have one in Ferguson, we have one in all of that. We have, we have a lot of offices open in the St. Louis region. And what makes an office hum is that volunteer that brings in cookies for everybody, right? It's working there. Is the volunteer that decides they're going to hang out and, you know, make it pleasant, make sure there's plenty of toilet paper, and make sure that, that they are um, there to encourage the people who are going out and taking packets and taking doors. Uh, we've had an amazing response of volunteers across the state, but I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We need more volunteers in Ferguson. We need more people showing up, and the office is open. You can come in. You can. They'll give you ideas about what you can do to help. Uh, we need more. And if you just want to come and hang out and make the office a friendly place, bring some music. Uh, make sure that when people walk in there, they 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 know that there are people there that are committed. We'd love to have you do that too. That's the difference between a campaign office that feels like it's doing something and a campaign office that feels depressing. So come on into the first office and help us make it um, more cheerful. And I've got I've got a Republican leader of the Senate who has decided to keep us in Washington um, and rather than allowing us to come back and campaign. Between now and the first Tuesday in November, on that Tuesday night, it'll be late. Don't panic early. <laughs> Outstate Missouri will come in first, but late. Somebody